Hi, it's Dr. Raj Banerjee, and in this video, we're going to talk about glycemic control. So did you eat breakfast today? Or maybe you only had a toast or cereal or a muffin? If you did that, like eat carbohydrates without significant protein, your hormone levels look, are going to look like this. Uh, in this top example here, uh, we have a meal that is one to zero ratio. All that means is that there are carbohydrates and no protein. What that would be is like a bagel uh, for breakfast, muffin for breakfast, or something along the lines like that. In a meal like that, you will have a 80% production of insulin and a 20% production of glucagon. And what that does is that when you get that rush of insulin, is that you eat this meal, your blood sugar spikes up. Your body has to get all that sugar out of the bloodstream because it's very dangerous to have high blood sugar levels, right, in your blood. So you're going to go overproducing on insulin and in this case that we just talked about, the big rush of insulin is going to drop the blood sugar down and it's an overreaction. Now the blood sugar is going to go way down. It's dropping excessively, right? And that's going to trigger low blood sugar, which is going to lead to your body making cortisol. So eating carbs by themselves without any kind of protein forces too much insulin, forces too much cortisol, and then you end up with a stress response. And again, cortisol is regulating inflammation, pain is regulating blood sugar, and is regulating your mood. So just eating a bagel for breakfast or a muffin for breakfast or coffee and a donut, something like that, is going to create this huge hormonal imbalance for the rest of the day. Now, if you combine a small amount of protein with your meal, hormone levels look like this picture here, with the insulin levels being you know, cut in half, basically. And this is about the ideal ratio, which is about two to one ratio of carbs to protein. So for every protein you have, you want about two units of carbs. So in simple terms, what this means that for every meal, uh, if you make a fist, right, in, in, with your hand, uh, about two fistfuls of carbohydrates, that would be vegetables, fruits, or non-gluten grains, and you're gonna want about deck-sized card or your palm-sized card um, of protein, right? Three to four ounces, okay? And you can imagine like a quarter pound hamburger. Uh, you can also imag imagine like a piece of fish or, or, or meat or something like that, or a couple of eggs maybe, or you know something like some, something like a deck of cards uh, size protein basically. That's about an average balanced meal. The most common place people mess this up big time is breakfast because they eat too many carbs for breakfast. If you eat this two to one ratio or 1.7 to one ratio, you cut your insulin level way, way down to about 28%. And when that happens, you will have a more of a balanced blood sugar throughout the day. <clears throat> so excessive insulin, it, you know, it's, it's gonna be, some, it's actually called syndrome X, is gonna throw this whole hormone thing off balance and you're gonna be inflamed and you're gonna have more painful situations in your joints and your muscles and things like that. So in the next video, we're gonna actually discuss that in more detail. So this is the end of this video and I just wanna leave you with one quick point. And if you get this, you can free yourself from chronic fatigue and pain and depression and overweight. The female hormones do not all of a sudden malfunction by themselves. They are responding to stress as a stress hormone called cortisol. Every molecule of cortisol that you produce comes from progesterone. When under stress, guess what happens? Your cortisol goes up and your progesterone drops. So what you need to do is you need to figure out what your cortisol level is and fix it. And throughout these videos, I'm going to show you the whole physiology of the female hormones and what you can do to actually get the results that you're looking for so you don't have these crazy symptoms that'll help you eliminate depression, fatigue, night sweats, hot flashes, mood swings, all that stuff we just talked about. And it'll improve your metabolism so you're able to actually start to lose weight again. This is Dr. Raj Banerjee. Thank you for watching this video and stay tuned for the next one. Please make sure you like my video and also subscribe to my channel so I can continue to make these kind of videos for you. Your support is appreciated. Leave a comment down below letting me know what kind of other videos you'd like to see so I can make them for you. Thank you so much and please visit my site getleantoday.com.